Okay, so we're talking about the properties of ionic compounds. One of those properties is that an ionic compound will conduct electricity if you can melt it or dissolve it in water. Well, it's really hard to melt an ionic compound. Imagine taking table salt, dumping it on a pan at home, turning the burner on full blast, you're probably not going to be able to melt salt. You need way more heat, something like what a Bunsen burner will provide. But I've got a device that will show uh, the conductivity of an ionic compound when you dissolve it in water. So let's look at that. All right, so here's the device that's going to show conductivity of an ionic compound. We've got a couple of electrodes, there's some water there, and then I'm going to plug it in. Okay, now I don't know if you know this, but a lot of people believe that water conducts electricity. So let me show you that that's not the case. First thing I've got to do is lower this into the water. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to plug it in. And then look at this. The light bulb is not on, which means there's no conduction between the two electrodes. Well, let's take an ionic compound like salt and start adding it and see what happens. Oh, look at that. Now, the reason the light bulb lit is because this ionic compound has dissolved into ions and it's allowing a charge to go from one electrode to another to complete the circuit. So there's a property of ionic compounds. They conduct uh, when dissolved in water. We can use this property of ionic compounds to find out if a substance is ionic or not. So let's test table sugar and see if table sugar is an ionic compound. All right, so I've got my device plugged in, and we're going to add some sugar and see what happens. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of sugar. Those of you with a sweet tooth are probably just cringing at this. But look, the light bulb is not going on. So for some reason... Um, Sugar doesn't break up into ions, and the reason it doesn't because it's not an ionic compound. Now, just to show you it's not a trick, let's take our salt and add our salt, and once enough ions have dissolved, there you go. So again, a really cool kind of like a mystery thing we can solve. I can give you a bunch of different powders and say, hey, which of these are ionic compounds and which are not? If it conducts electricity, they are ionic compounds.